are continuing to expect them here over the next 12 hours. Those clouds already in place. Thunderstorms, look at that, really starting to build in there from the west. And we ha do have some scattered showers just towards um, the east there of St. Joe, Missouri, now making its way into the tri-state area. This is our weather story for today. This is what we are expecting, the scattered showers and thunderstorms over the next 12 hours or so here in the tri-state area. Now, we are continuing to watch the severity of some of these as we head into those late afternoon hours. And at this point, a few of them could be packing some strong winds and some small hail, but the biggest threat to that severe weather does stay well south of us, St. Louis and south. So we'll watch those for you. Otherwise, just keep in mind, grab the umbrella today and just know that it could be a little soggy later this afternoon with those thunderstorms continuing. But it's going to be a fantastic Friday on tap for the area as we end that work week, end that school week, kick off that weekend. It's going to be beautiful. Currently, though, it is 49 degrees in Macomb. Now we stretch our way down towards Jacksonville, 49 as well. Heading into southeast Iowa, we got 54 in Fort Madison, 52 as well in Keokuk and uh, the Quincy's Regional Airport, 55 as you head towards America's hometown. Highs will reach the mid 60s, a little bit cooler, but overall very pleasant, one degree below average for this time of year. Those thunderstorms continue with winds out of the southeast at 10 to 20 miles an hour. Now our sun, it did already rise. It did there at 614. It'll set tonight, though, at 752. Thunderstorms will start to taper off, so that's the good news. We'll start to clear out those clouds as well, with those lows dipping down into the 30s. By tomorrow, though, 78 degrees. Lots of sunshine, a beautiful Friday forecast. Saturday isn't shaping up too bad. 10 degrees cooler into the upper 60s. And then we kind of settle into a pattern here of some scattered storms Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Along with that, a weak cold front pushes through, giving us a chance for those cooler temperatures heading to Tuesday and Wednesday. Well, Chad Douglas has well, been live all morning from the Quincy Park District. He's, <laughs> he's at it again <laughs> in the batting cage. Now, many of us tweeted out what we wanted to see you do next. This was not it. This was not it. This is why it's called a tease. We're up at the Upper Mormon Park batting cages. We've done mini golf. We've done batting cages. We've done bicycle riding. What's next? Find out on KHQ this morning.